this video we will learn about vibration vibration api uh, using this vibration api you can vibrate your device uh, we can use it either with ios or android usually in real time applications uh, you can use this api to provide haptic feedbacks on let's say if you are using an e-commerce portal uh, and you buy something then when the order get placed successfully you your device vibrates to give you haptic feedback or you if whenever you delete something or remove something that kind of activities always provide uh, with haptic feedback so you understand that the activity is done so it is very useful uh, for the user experience perspective so first of all create a react native project and open it on visual studio code and i will show you how it will work uh, on the external device uh, i'm using my android device because in that way you understand it much better and i advise you to test this on a physical device so first of all let us import all the necessary component view text button platform platform is not necessary but if you want to uh, separate styling or something like that for both android and ios then you can use this and lastly vibration now we will create a simple app in which we provide some buttons to turn on and off the vibration we also provide a pattern like vibrate for some second then pause then also then again vibrate for some seconds something like that so uh, that uh, time duration will be in milliseconds so let me just uh, create a variable one second in millisecond so we do not write uh, do not have to write the milliseconds in millisecond we can simply write in uh, seconds okay so now let me just create a pattern okay so pattern will be one sec in one second two second and three seconds of okay. care this will be two seconds this will be in three seconds Now let us create a string pattern description wait then one seconds of uh, vibrating then vibrate Two seconds, then wait, and then vibrate three seconds. So this is a pattern. It will vibrate for uh, one second, then wait, then vibrate for two seconds, then again wait, and then vibrate for three seconds. Now let us create a text first of all. Let's name it Vibration API. Let's provide some styling.
first we will create header then paragraph now let us create a view in which we will be creating a button this will uh, be a simple button for vibration turn on and off title will be vibrate once on press event we simply provide vibration dot vibrate so whenever user click on this button it will vibrate for only one second now let us scale a view again and this time we will provide a button which will let the uh, device vibrate for at least 10 seconds vibrate for 10 seconds and on press event we provide the same vibration dot vibrate in which we provide 10 into one second in milliseconds so this will be 10,000 milliseconds now we will create buttons for pattern text let's provide style to it pattern and pattern will be we already created pattern description over here okay we'll create a button title will be vibrate with pattern and on press event we provide vibration dot vibrate then provide the pattern and true condition we have created pattern over here one second two seconds and three seconds So this button we have created over here it will continue it will continue to vibrate with pattern uh, until we uh, do not stop it so whenever uh, the pattern is complete it repeat it again and again so let us also create a button uh, which all which uh, repeat this pattern only once 
title will be vibrate with pattern and here we change it to vibrate with painter until cancel Here on press event, we simply provide vibration dot vibrate and we provide pattern. Now, the lastly, we create a button to stop the vibration pattern because if we click on this. The vibration pattern will continue to repeat itself. Stop. Vibration pattern. On press, we simply stop it. Vibration dot cancel. Let us also provide color to these buttons separately. Let's provide hashtag okay so we are pretty much done here let us create styling first of all the header font size will be in F18 Font weight will be bold. Section will be center. Now for the paragraph. Let's provide margin. Next line. And let me just save this. Let me just save this one also. Okay, so what we have done here, we have imported the vibration uh, API and we have defined thousand milliseconds is one second so we don't have to use the milliseconds then we create a pattern for one second two second and three seconds then the first one the first button is for vibrate the device only once second button will vibrate the device for 10 seconds we have provided the duration over here and then we provide three buttons for vibrate with pattern so it will vibrate in this pattern the pattern we have created here then the second one is it will repeatedly uh, uh, vibrate the device for in, in this pattern until it cancels and the next button is to stop the pattern we provide vibration dot cancel method So we are done with the programming here. Let's head over to the browser and you can uh, scan this QR code on your smartphone. You first need to download the Expo app on your smartphone. Then you can uh, simply 
uh, scan this QR code and you can uh, preview this app so let me just head over to my physical device so as you can see uh, I have uh, opened the app in my physical device it's an Android device and it's works fine so let me just click on the vibrate once mm. as you can see it mm. vibrates only once mm. if i click on vibrate for 10 seconds mm. then it will vibrate for 10 seconds again you can vibrate it once this button over here will vibrate it with pattern and this button will vibrate it until it got cancelled as you can see it repeatedly do the process and if I click on the stop vibration button it will stop vibrating it again you can vibrate it once you can provide any of the seconds and you can create your own haptic feedbacks for whatever uh, events you want it to map to So this is how you can use Vibration API to vibrate your physical device either Android or iOS. You can provide haptic feedbacks to the users. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching it.